Hey guys, welcome back. We are fixing to get ready to make our craft for the book that we just read, The Best Thanksgiving Ever. Remember at the end of the book, when it was time for their dinner, the turkeys were thankful for their Thanksgiving cornmeal because they love corn. So we are going to be making our own corn on the cob today. So to get ready to make this craft, the supplies that you are going to need and you will get in your activity bag will be the template of the corn on the cob that we're making. You will also get some yellow tissue paper. That's what we're gonna use to, to roll up and make as our kernels on our corn. You will also need a glue stick or some kind of glue, a pair of scissors, and a green crayon. Now, the first thing to get started, we are going to color the corn shucks on our corn on the cob. Now, mine are gonna be green, but you could use brown. Mine's going to be a ripe corn, so I'm going to use green. Okay, almost done. Are you guys almost done coloring your corn stalk? Okay. Now then, mine is finished. So here's what yours should look like so far. You should either have colored your corn shuck here, either green or brown. Now we're gonna get ready to put our kernels on. So that yellow tissue paper that you have, or if you don't have tissue paper, you can use construction paper. We are just gonna cut into little squares or tear off into small pieces, and we're just gonna crumple it up until it makes little balls, just like that. And then on your template, you'll see that you have all these circles. So we're gonna try to stay within those circles and put our kernels inside of those. Now, here is where you can change up your corn on the cob a little bit. If you wanted to make Indian corn to add with your yellow tissue paper, you could add red, brown, black, and orange tissue paper to your kernels, and then you would have Indian corn. But we're just gonna do some yellow corn. So we're gonna take these tissue papers, we're gonna wad them up. We're gonna put glue on each of those circles. You can wad them up into big pieces or little pieces. You can make them all be different, different sizes. And there's a lot of circles on here, so your corn on the cob is going to have a lot of kernels. But just keep folding them up and wadding them up. And putting them in your circles. It's starting to look like corn now because we're starting to get a bunch of kernels on there. How does your alls look? Does it look like a good piece of corn? 
that you'd want to put some butter on and eat. Corn on the cob is one of my favorite vegetables. Okay, we don't have many more to go. Y'all having fun making your kernels? Miss Brandy is almost done. Almost done. Are you guys almost done? I like two more. All right, Miss Brandy's corn on the cob is done. Look at there. You see all those kernels on there? Now, what you all could do if you wanted to, and if you had the paper, I'm gonna use a brown piece of construction paper to make it look like dirt. Because corn, when it grows on the corn stalks, it grows from up out of the ground. So I am going to glue my corn on the cob onto this brown construction paper and make it look like it's growing in the ground. Now this is something that you can do, you don't have to do. You also could use any color construction paper that you wanted to. Could use a blue piece to make it look like it is flying in the wind because corn stalks, you know, grow up real tall and they stand up in the up in the air. So there is Miss Brandy's corn on the cob. See there? I bet your all's corn on the cob looks delicious too. So if you all would like to do this craft and you all need the template, then you all can call the library and you can reserve an activity bag. And in the activity bag for this week, you are gonna get this template for your corn on the cob, and you are gonna get your tissue paper. Now, you very well could do this at home also. Just draw you out a corn on the cob, cut you up some yellow paper, whether it be tissue paper or construction paper, and you could do your own right there at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this craft, and we would love to see what kind of corn that you made, whether it was yellow corn or some Indian corn for Thanksgiving. And if you all do do this craft, then send us a picture to our Facebook page or through our messages. And we would love to see what, you, what kind of corn you made. Thanks, guys. Bye.